We're going to look at retained earnings. It's part of stockholders' equity on the balance sheet. It's a financing activity, and it's earned capital. Two things affect it. Number one would be net income for the period. Gain or loss flows into retained earnings. And number two, dividends, dividends paid. So if you pay any dividends, that would reduce retained earnings. Now remember the net income over here involves all, this, all the activities that encompass the investing activities that flow over into net income operating activities and likewise the fi uh, liabilities here, all those financing uh, liabilities or part of the financing activity, those liabilities that flow into net income affect this retained earnings. Okay, first let's look at how net income affects retained earnings. So, okay, first we have some revenues. So, say we had an increase in revenues here, or credit amount, so that flows into an income summary account, and then we accumulate it in this account here. Then we take our expenses, if we had any, in this case we had an increase in expenses of 100, and that flows into the income summary account, and we also take cost of goods sold, which is another expense. In this case, we had an increase in that of 200. So we move that into the income summary account. So then we got a net amount here in the income summary account. In this case, it's $1,000 minus 300. So our net amount is 700. Happens to be a gain. Then we close that gain into retained earnings. So a gain here would increase retained earnings or we credit retained earnings and in case our income summary here was a loss we would go in and we would decrease or debit retained earnings. So number two here would look at our dividends paid or the company declares a dividend say in this case it was an increase here debit increase of 300 that dividend would be closed to retained earnings at the end of the period, a credit amount here in dividends, and a debit amount in retained earnings. So that would, the dividends reduces retained earnings. Then we look at the net amount here, say we had a credit from uh, net income here of 700, and a debit here from our dividends paid 300, so we get a net amount of 400. Uh, just to note here, this dividends account is a contra account. So You've got debits minus here, credits plus. It would be just the opposite here on dividends. Debit plus, credit minus. I want to make a point here that the uh, net income from the income statement gets close to retained earnings each, each period. And this retained earnings is a cumulative amount. It accumulates since, since the company starts to the current date. So if we get a gain here in each year. We, this case, I just looked at four years and I had gains. So let's just look. Beginning the company has no retained earnings, so whatever came in from the income statement, a gain here would re be reduced by any dividends paid out, and then you got a net amount in retained earnings, and that's carried over to the next year. In this case, we had a uh, gain on the income statement again and reduced it by dividends. It just kept a constant rate here. So net amount here that's in retained earnings moved over to the next year and ended up with a net amount here. And then the last year that I'm looking at here, we had a net amount we started at and then we added our net income, reduced it by dividends, and that was a net amount. So retained earnings is an accumulated amount uh, since the company uh, started and it's whatever net incomes or losses we made for the year and then it's reduced by the dividends if any that were paid for the year. Okay, uh, These are the possible transactions that can affect retained earnings. So I've listed the debit or the what reduces retained earnings here and the credit side what increases retained earnings and it's a list and we start with the net loss, which we talked about reducing retained earnings, net gain, 
increasing retained earnings and also cash dividends here that reduce retained earnings. But the remainder of the list here shows other reductions and increases into retained earnings. So I'll zoom in here on the debit side and okay. Now I'll zoom in here on the credit side. Take a look at it. Okay, in summary, the two main activities that affect retained earnings would be a net income for the year or the period that flows into it and any dividends paid. Now I showed you a list there with a number of other items that can increase or decrease retained earnings and that would be in addition to the two main items that I talked about here. So that would conclude my talk on retained earnings.